Celebrations were held throughout the day today to celebrate Juneteenth. June 19, 1865 is the day Union troops arrived in Galveston, Texas and announced that more than 250,000 enslaved people were freed by the Emancipation Proclamation. That executive decree, though, took effect in 1863. But the enslaved black people in Galveston were among the last to learn that they had been freed. WBZ Symphony Chan joins us live outside of the State House tonight with a look at how the day is being celebrated here locally. Tiffany. Courtney, well, lawmakers started the day with a flag raising. You can see the Juneteenth flag behind me flying right next to the state house. And while Juneteenth is a federal holiday that many celebrate, lawmakers also say it's a day of reflection. From the state house in Boston to Springfield, state leaders are celebrating the Juneteenth holiday all week long, starting on Beacon Hill with a flag raising ceremony. That white bursting star, a symbol of slavery coming to an end in the United States. We celebrate the joy, the resilience, the strength, the community collective spirit of the black community. The governor, along with the legislature's Black and Latino Caucus, braved the heat. I know it's hot, so I just wanted to say happy Juneteenth. While the Emancipation Proclamation was signed in 1863, it would take another two years for slaves in Confederate Texas to realize their freedom on June 19th, hence the Texas star at the center of the Juneteenth flag. Juneteenth the people were able to be enslaved two years longer than they were free because they were kept in the dark. So the ability to enslave people is directly connected to the ability to prevent them from being educated. Massachusetts celebrating Juneteenth as a state holiday for the very first time in 2021. Happy Juneteenth, black people. The community coming together today in Roxbury to reflect on the true meaning of equality. It took a long time to get there, but we're here. And one of the best ways to celebrate, in my opinion, is to honor the black people right in front of you. I know we spend a lot of time reading history books. Take a moment and make sure you honor the black people to your left, the black people to your right. While the flag raisings, barbecues, and festivities are important, the real work, state leaders say, begins with law and policy. And on that note, here is a live look at the State House of the Juneteenth flag waving right next to the Golden Dome. Lawmakers say next they want to address the disparity in education and health care and income among the black community. Live at the State House in Boston, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News. Tiffany, thank you.